Hi, it's so kind of difficult to know what to title this particular video actually because of course I'm learning to weld but the reason I'm learning to weld is because I want to build a gasifier unit and we did that earlier with the part one where we talked about making the gasifier out of this stainless steel beer barrel. Now FEMA talk about all kinds of things including garbage cans so this section of it can be made from just a ton of things. Um, people prefer, or a, there seems to be a preference of propane tanks but to be honest Anything will do, including a garbage can. So I went for this stainless steel beer barrel. Now in order to get into this, what we need obviously is an access port because the main burner is gonna be here. It's gonna fill with ash and we're gonna to have to clean it out. So we need to be able to get into it. And I have seen people take Freon tanks and chop them in half and then they can just take the bottom off. And it's just so many solutions to that. Now, obviously I'm wanting to learn to weld, so I've probably gone a little bit overboard on this, but hey, you know, if you're gonna do something, go wild with it. So what I made is a door to cover this section. So I've obviously cut a big square hole in the barrel so I can get into it. Now I need to seal it up and to seal it up, I built this door frame. Now I've probably gone completely and utterly overboard with it, okay? It's made out of um, quite a lot of this flat bar and quite a lot of this angle iron. Now, I've basically resourced those from scrap, so they haven't cost me anything. But because I want to practice my welding, I have gone to town on it a little bit. So I've made a, put a flange on it, I've rolled it so it fits, and it goes into the barrel like that and then bolts on. Of course, we do have a, a seal here, but we've got this high temperature sealant that we can use, and this is good to 1200 degrees centigrade. So we're going to bolt that on. Now, what I've discovered while doing this, I'm going to share with you on the welding side of stuff, and I know that it's going to upset the purest welder, but you've got to remember, this is um, the th a thing I've built after doing about, I don't know, six practice welds or something. So what I've discovered, and the real welder is going to hate this. This for a beginner welder, this thing is your best friend. It's an angle grinder. So whenever you put on too much metal, you can always angle grind it off and have another go at it. Um, my mate Mike tells me there's just about nothing that isn't recoverable and I'm guessing it's because you can angle grind it down. So there's an awful lot of angle grinding that has gone on on this. Well I've given it a go, ground it off, given it a go, ground it off until I got what I wanted to get. So an angle grinder really is a very useful tool if you're beginning to learn to weld, at least I found it so. I know you're supposed to get a beautiful weld or you don't need to do that, I can't do it but I can use an angle grinder to give it another go. So angle grinder is just superb. Now the other thing that I learned was this. Here's a really cute thing that a couple of people shared with me actually and I thought I'd pass it on. Now I'm making a door for the degasifier so that I can actually get into the um, bit where it all burns so I can clean it out. So I can get into the ashtray. Uh, and I've cut this slightly short so there's a little gap in there really, which is irritating obviously. But somebody said, well, you know all those little end bits of rod that you've got from your welding rod and you've got it left over, just knock off the flux, grab it, stick it in that bit and weld over that using it as a bit of filler. And actually, I've done this twice and it works really well. So like I said, that's all you actually do. So let's do it. Awesome. And that's with a little bit of cleaning. Isn't that a neat trick? So a bit of this high temperature sealant all the way around, bolt this down and that's my port done. Now the door's gonna be like we made the kiln door, so there'll be a bar going here and it'll swing over. We'll put some um, fireproof felt or wool or rope or something to stop that leaking. Any other leaks, like leaks in my weld, hey, that's what this is for. So. That is that section of it done. And like I say, I wanted to share that with you for a couple of reasons. One, because we're on with the gasifier, and two, because, you know, I'm sure lots of people know about those handy little tricks. But like I say, I'm an absolute beginner. 
And if you're an absolute beginner, any little tricks that move you along is great. And I'm not a great one for practicing on scrap bits of steel. I just get bored of doing it, really. It's, it's enough to do a couple of bits for me. Then I want to make something so that it's kind of useful. And that, as I say, terribly overboard, but I love it. Hey, it's very uh, Wallace and Gromit. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.